Take a look at this. Show them how I freed's crew can see. Four elemental Imperiums are the beings that maintain the balance and harmony between Earth, water, wind, and fire. Ever even stopped to think about why they sleep? About what waking them will do to this world's order? Not really. I don't much care. They sleep because of arrogant, insolent wretches like you. The Empyreans derive their power and that of their blessings from the prayers of the pure at heart. But humans became corrupted and neglected their prayers. The forgotten Empyreans drifted into slumber. Human prayers are the source of their power? Just like the Malachim. Are you trying to say Inominat blesses someone when he eats their soul? As the fifth Imperium, Inominat's purpose is to eat human souls, malevolence and all, and to wipe the slate clean. When all mankind is once again pure as a newborn babe, the elemental Imperians can be safely revived. You want to wipe the slate? But that means... Yes, civilization will crumble. The spread of malevolence, the cleansing of the Nominat, the cycle has repeated countless times over the eons. That is why human civilization rises and falls. But if this continues, humanity will never surpass a certain threshold. Thus, the Abbey will control Innominat's power, so that we may guide humanity into a new, better era! It all makes sense now. You developed the art of armatization to control Innominat. And, in order to create the Armatus, you needed the technology found in Siegfried, didn't you? So that's why you got Eifried involved in all of this. Just as light cannot exist without darkness, no great achievement comes without sacrifice. Even I must be made tribute for the sake of our ideal world! <laughs> no, you don't! Eisen, stop! I told you, he's a crafty old buzzard. I should have known it wouldn't be that simple. <laughs> Rebellious fools, <laughs> you have fallen so far, Muggy Wally. Muggy Wally has no longer! Now, rise, arise, ascending, angel! Oh. Make a change! Great! Black. Black. Driven by the... 
to add years to his life. Centuries, even. Is that what you call rational? Sounds like an obsession. <sighs> I've said the same thing thousands of times. If it were my choice, I'd have let myself die naturally long ago. But did he not say? Man can turn reason into disorder. But also, can we surpass it? Our true power is in transcending the possible to achieve the ideal. So were the words of the exorcist Claudin. They were foolish. Think what you will. I'll show you the truth of his words. <laughs> You think illusions will work on us now? <laughs> Not in the least. But it won't be enough time to finish my art. Are you trying to set off the volcano? You'll die too! I take the Lord of Calamity with me. I have no regrets. That's because I follow reason. Emotions are a real pain, aren't they?
What was that? The elemental Empyreans have awoken. We are free. We will no longer be your tools. Oh dear, what's happening? You saved us, Mogulu. Thanks. If you hadn't thrown Melchior off balance, we'd all be dead. I settled my own affairs. Nothing more. But if you want to thank me, I accept gifts. I take it back. He couldn't hurt those flowers. Was that his oath? No. That old fool loved flowers more than anything else. Far more than he did any living human. That's all there was to it. I suppose even a legate could never fully control his heart. Same goes for a witch. Sometimes living can be the hardest affliction. Have the four elemental Empyreans awakened? Who knows? But anything that would sleep through that isn't worth our time. Better watch your mouth or they'll smite you. I can feel a shift in Inominat's domain. Yeah. All four of them have awoken. Inominat has been pushed out from the Earth pulses. Humanity's amplified resonances will diminish, and many Malachim will regain their free will. The Exorcists will likely lose a good chunk of their forces. Eleanor, have you lost your ability to fight too? Sorry to disappoint, but I can still see you. Evil demons, Malachim, and witches alike. You know where he is. I can feel him. His body has left the Earth pulses. He's somewhere above the Empyrean's throne now. Arturius is with him. However, Inominat is pushing back against the other Empyreans with incredible force. If the four are defeated, we'll lose our last chance. No time to waste. Let's go. It's time to end this. Yeah! doesn't appear to be erupting. Or doing anything else, really. I'd say that's a relief. Were Melchior's claims only a bluff? I'm not convinced. Most of his threats had as much truth in them as he could muster. With the four Empyreans revived, the land is awakened. Changes in the Earth that once took eons will now happen in a few hundred years. A few hundred years? The mountain will erupt, but not for a long while. A long while to a human, maybe. But compared to the history of the land, it'll be a blink of an eye. But Inominat is the Empyrean of suppression. Who can say what will happen when we kill him? <gasps> well, it's not like I care anyway. I think we should care. Melchior sure was strong, wasn't he? Yeah. If it weren't for Mogilu's help, we wouldn't have stood a chance. But you saw the opening she gave us and took it. Did you want to be the one to finish him off? If it mattered to me, I'd have fought him alone. We all had our reasons to fight him. The opportunity just happened to be yours. That's all there is to it. I understand. If Melchior had only manipulated Eifried for personal reasons, then that would be settled now. But he was acting based on his idea of reason. That creating a world without malevolence was worth the cost of destroying people's free will. I freed won't be avenged until I destroy that very philosophy. Your business with the Abbey isn't done. Not even close. You all could just sit around twiddling your thumbs, and I'd still take the heads of Artorius and Inominat on my own. If you want to be the ones to finish them off, you'll have to beat me to it. <laughs> You're on. I'll fight with everything I've got. That's all I can do. That's plenty. Let's go! 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 Let's go!
don't mean to pry, but I've gotta know. Does it feel good to pinch all those souls out from your stomach? That's kind of a gross way of putting it. I have to agree with Velvet. The way you put it sounds so... inappropriate. I'm pretty sure that was her point. Oh, I'm sorry. Why so cranky? I was only asking to see if you were getting hungry or not. Then ask that in the first place. Are you? Hungry, that is. I do feel hungry, now that you mention it. But I don't think it has to do with losing those souls. Then why is it? Maybe my appetite is increasing as Inominat's suppression weakens. Yeah, I'm suddenly feeling hungry myself. My stomach could start growling at any moment. I have been thinking of nothing but delicious things to eat for a while now. I bet Mogilu only brought it up because she's feeling peckish herself. No, no, that's not the reason at all. That settles it then. When we get back to the ship, you can take guard duty while we eat. I'll make a quiche and pudding. I'll cook up some penguin and tomato stew. Ooh, I'd love to try your cooking, Madame Eleanor. Let's get back to the ship. <laughs> Getting all fired up about food, I would never... I would kill for a big bowl of sweet collegian style borscht! Then go find me some peaches. Why peaches? Because you can't have collegian borscht without peach pie for dessert. <laughs> Glad to see you made it back in one piece, Velvet! I'm here on orders from the boss to help you guys out. We could certainly use it. How are things back in the city? I came here from Helleviz, so I don't know how far the suppression has progressed. But I can tell you that the Abbeys designated the area north of Helleviz as a Class IV administrative zone. Which means they've pulled their forces out of the area. What about the people of Mercio? Everyone got out safe and sound, although they did petition for the extermination of the Lord of Calamity. Of course. I say we make this town our new hideout. When else are we ever gonna find a hideout that comes with hot springs? That's a good idea. We should leave Kamoana and the others here. Dial, could you stay and help them out? <laughs> As if you even had to ask. Well, that's surprisingly reliable for you, Dial. Hey, that hurts. Now get going already. Benwick and the crew are making preparations in Helleviz right now. Rokuro, how'd the showdown with your brother turn out? I killed him. But I couldn't break Stormhowl. Is that because Stormhowl was an even stronger sword than Kuragane's? No. Even with Shigure's full strength behind it, Stormhowl didn't even leave a nick in Kurogane's blade. If I didn't have this sword, I'd be dead now. I think I just couldn't break Stormhowl because I'm still too inexperienced. But you won the match, didn't you? Yeah. But only by combining my techniques with Kurogane's craftsmanship. If that's the case, then as long as you're wielding it, that sword is Storm Quell. After all, Kurogane's sword did quell the God Blade's raging storm. Do you think Kurogane would agree? Are you kidding? You know how stubborn that guy is. He'd just say he'd forge something even stronger the next time. And that's why I say you shouldn't be satisfied with how you are either, Rokuro. I know. I'll find even stronger opponents to cut down. By my hand, Kurogane's Storm Quell will become even more legendary than Storm Howl ever was. That's the spirit! Show them what we demons can do!
There, exorcist! Do you know what happened to the Praetor? Lady Teresa? She used to be in charge here. Um... Lady Teresa is the only one who can restore law and order in our town! Please, send a message to the Abbey. Tell them that the citizens of Helavis are awaiting her return. Even if the Lord of Calamity herself were to attack, I won't budge until Lady Teresa returns to us! What will refusing to move accomplish? If my life is in danger, I know Lady Teresa will come to save me. Her, in that ice-cold glare of hers. Teresa won't be coming back. What? If you really love Teresa, you shouldn't rely on her to protect you. You should become strong enough to protect her. Whoa, that burning glare of yours. I think I like it. Wait, what? Planning evacuation routes. We need to be ready if the Calamity or Demon show up in town. When the Calamity attacked the first time, there was massive confusion. Some children got hurt in all the madness. We're preparing evacuation boats, so that we can all flee out to the sea if anything happens. It's a good idea, but it will be hard to evacuate the entire town by boat. You'd best prepare a land route, too. That's a good point. Yes. You'll need to guard it as heavily as you do the city gates. It would be best if you could devise a way to prevent demons from intercepting the escape route, but... Hmm. Some of the exorcists lost use of their malachi. I'll send a request for aid to the Abbey. But please, don't give up. Try to think of something. Of course. There's no way we'll give up. You can't rely on someone else to protect you. Can you really ask the Abbey for help? I can send a sylph jade to some of my old friends from when I was still in training. Even if they refuse to trust a traitor like me, they won't ignore the plight of the people here in Helavis. Hey! How long are you going to sit there crying? You can't be a fisherman if you're afraid of some lord of calamity! The demons that wreck this town are still alive. Who knows when they'll show up again? How about right now? Sniveling idiot! Keep whining like that, and this calamity whatever will keep walking all over you! But what can we do? We can't even defeat a single demon. That's why we take our boats, catch some fish, and make sure we've got enough food to keep on surviving. Didn't they drill anything into that fool head of yours in school? Ugh. Do I have to knock some sense into you? Get up and get the boat ready! That is one hot-headed dad. Too hot for any demons to get near, that's for sure. Good luck out there. Welcome back! I take it you defeated the Legates. Yes, but that still leaves Inominot and the Shepherd. Onward ho to the last battle! Oh, I picked up something nice for you. Here. An apple? It's a fortune apple. A good luck charm. No real powers, but they're hard to find. Legend has it, they're pretty lucky. A fortune apple! Hmm. <laughs> but we're the bad guys, aren't we? Maybe what we need is bad luck instead. I think the Reapers got that covered. Aw, oh, that's just mean. Well, <laughs> I appreciate the thought. Thanks, Benwick. I love apples. Just don't eat it. I couldn't eat it, even if I wanted. Wait a moment. That's right. 
My power to consume is a part of Inominat. If that's true, then... What is it? You want a bite? Delicious fortune apple. No way! That's a good luck charm! That it is. One to give you the courage you need to survive. Uh. So, where's our final destination? The Empyrean's throne. Sail for Port Sexton. Aye aye, ma'am. Aye aye, sir. Just don't eat him. Got it? I won't. Don't worry. Do you think that with the Nominot's power waning, people will be free again? Well, the pirates are acting like pirates again. May take longer for others, but I think it's happening. What do you think of traveling around to see for ourselves? I'd like to know what's going on out there. I'd like to meet the Elemental Empyreans, if I could. That's not a great idea. They're all in various Earth Pulse points, but where those are is a mystery. They could be very far off, and they might not view us as allies. Yep, gods live by their own rules. Our business with Inominat probably doesn't concern them. You're right. It might be wise to scope out the situation before our battle. As we go around, we might find out more about what Artorius is up to. Hey, Rokuro! I heard about a Class 4 island that sounds damn near perfect for you. An island that's perfect for me? Do the rivers flow with good drink? Now that you mention it. But no, different island. I'm talking about you as a swordsman. The demons there all run around the island in suits of armor and helmets and stuff, I hear. Armored demons are not unusual. Yeah, but what I heard tell was that all the exorcists who got sent there came back with their swords broken. I don't know if they've got swords too, or if their armor is just that strong, but I reckon your sword will be able to stand up to them. Well then, I've heard worse ideas. If you believe the tales, that island used to be a place where swordsmen and knights competed. See who was stronger. Oh yeah, I know the island you're talking about. Craftsmen from all over gave their finest weapons and armor to the greatest of warriors, and made them fight. It was as much a showcase for those wares as it was a contest of strength. So the demons on that island might come at us wielding fine arms and armor. I'm certainly up for checking it out. I'm curious to see how good the stuff really is. After all I've told you, you still want to go? What is wrong with you? So, what was it you needed to say to me alone? Where's Lafayette? at? He wanted to stand watch with me, but I forced him to get some rest. After all this fighting, he needs it. I owe you. That kid always tries to play the tough guy. Just like the one who named him. He's nothing like me. His motivation comes from hope. Hope. The wind is nice. Yes, the world may teem with hardship and sadness, but it's also filled with beauty. The endless ocean, the islands in the south, even the frozen tundra and the mountains that spew fire. It is. And humans make their home among all that beauty. This is the world that Lafayette always yearned to travel. 
I finally understand what he saw when he sat looking out over the ocean. Eleanor, I have a single favor to ask of you. If anything happens to me, take care of Lafayette. What? Is something the matter? The power possessed by the Therians and Inominat is fundamentally the same. I have a theory. No. Theory is too rational. A different part of me, something separate from my hatred, wants me to do something. It wants me to leave this world with hope. Wait, you don't mean... <laughs> Humor me, okay? If the worst happens, I'm counting on you. I understand. You have my word. I'll look after Lafayette. While I'd love to take advantage of this momentary weakness, I can't. My oath is to obey your orders until my dying breath. <laughs> I'd almost forgotten about all that. Good thing I kicked your butt after all. Well, the suppression field is gone. And in its place, rampaging demons. We expected that. Thanks. For everything. I only did what I felt like doing. Who needs thanks for that? Let's go. We have a fight to finish with the Shepherd. Inominat's power may have weakened, but I think that'll only cause more of a stir in the cities. Without the Abbey's exorcists, the people will have a hard time quelling demons. Are you crying? I'm simply coming to terms with reality. I've learned to think for myself rather than let others do the thinking for me. It's painful and frightening, and comes with great responsibility. But this is who I am now. It's on me to own up, face my fears, and keep moving forward. You're a piece of work, but I don't mind having you around. <laughs> yes, I'm not weak like I used to be. No, you aren't. You don't have to bear the weight of the world alone, though. I understand that. I will do only what I can. You always say that, but then you end up overdoing it, right? If you push yourself to the limit and it's still not enough, there's no shame in relying on others. Rokuro, thank you so much. You realize you just thanked a demon, right? I'm aware of that. We put all our faith in you because you said you could protect us. We endured all your harsh rules and laws. So how can you tell us you can't defeat the demons because you can't control Malachim anymore? We don't understand why we've lost the ability to control our Malachim. But even without my Malak arts, I will fight to my dying breath to protect all of you. So please, calm down. Huh. I'm not listening to anything the Abbey says anymore. What are you looking at? Yeah, you there. Mean looking guy. Get over here. I think I'll pass. Thanks. Hey, muscles! Get back here! I'm not through with you! Please stop. I understand that you're worried and upset, but now isn't the time to be fighting amongst ourselves. Please, let us all stand together. Help us fight off the madness and the demons that threaten our world. <sighs> and if that's not good enough for you, you can face me instead. Guess I'm sorry. That exorcist has some serious backbone. Aye. Hey, it's you! Uh, Mogilu's debauchery! It's Menagerie. <laughs> I finally get a chance to see the famous Mogilu's Menagerie! I've been waiting forever to meet up with you again! Meet up with us? 
Well, with my bad luck, I've always just missed out on seeing your splendiferous performances. So, well, I made my own menagerie. The Abbey is a mess, and people everywhere are scared. Demons abound, and, well, everyone's so gloomy. So I thought that this is exactly the time when people need something fun and happy to lift their spirits. My troop is still in training, but we're almost ready. That's wonderful. What do you call yourselves? I wanted something with power, impact. So behold, we are the Dark Wings. Dark Wings. Huh. Hey, what gives? That's a terrible reaction. You're trying to cheer people up, right? So why dark? And dark wings only make me picture crows. Or bats, maybe. Really? When I think of the dark wings, I think comedy. Hmm. Maybe I should rethink this. Oh, I got it! We'll be the dark smiles! Hmm. Sounds like you've got a pretty dark sense of humor. You really want to go with such a dark-hearted name? Okay, fine. The dark magic. No, the dark circus! No, no, that's no good. The darkest hour! The dark... Maybe you could try losing the dark part. Hmm, good point. All right, then. How about this one? The Peddlers of Joy! We don't accept solicitations. <sighs> fine, fine, forget you. I've made my decision. We're Darkwing Menagerie of Comedy, and that's final! He really went all out! Still, you've got Zing, kid. Here's hoping you have many dark years to come. Magikazam! Thanks! That makes us rivals now, but still, from one entertainer to another, good luck! About that Magikazam of yours? You only use that spell when you couldn't care less what happens, right? What this world needs now is a good dose of apathy, am I right? But here's hoping you have many dark years to come. That's not very nice at all, is it? Magikazam! I can't get my hands on nectar or a good drink anymore, but thanks to that, I've finally seen the light. I tried drinking lots of different things to help cope with my cravings, and I discovered that a nice cup of tea really does the trick. You can't give kids the heavy stuff, but tea? Kids, adults, the elderly? Everyone can enjoy it. That's a good positive point of view. I'm thinking about using my life savings to open a tea shop filled with tea from all over the world. Rather than let ourselves get all worked up panicking over the demons, we'd be better off sitting down with a nice cup of relaxing tea. It'd be wonderful if you sold some tasty pies or cookies there, too. I know, right? I need to find some baked goods that go well with tea. Maybe I can find a girlfriend while I'm at it. Well, good luck with that. Thanks. Speaking of which, are you single? Sorry, I think I'll pass. <sighs> yeah, figured as much.
Feel him. You know me not somewhere in the sky. In the sky? Wait, look! Nice that we've tracked down in Ominot, but, uh, now what's the plan? I don't think even Griffin could get us up there. And my Guardian takes one passenger only. I don't think we need to worry about that. Huh? Well, looky there. A teleportation art. Looks like we are expected. For Inominot to fully awaken. They need me and Lafisat. Which means they want to settle this once and for all, too. Sounds good to me! Bring it on! Is what reckless idiots say before plunging into the unknown. Be more cautious. S sorry Wow. That is the first time I've ever heard Magilu say something sensible. A bad omen. Let's be careful, and take a good look around first. Belittling a faithful ally right before the final showdown? Do you not cry? If I prick you, do you not bleed? <laughs> 